Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. Uh, it is the blessed month of Ramadan, and inshallah, my brothers and sisters around the world will be fasting, and uh, inshallah, giving charity and inshallah, spending a lot of time with their loved ones. Uh, and I know this month will be extremely uh, different compared to the other months that we've had because we won't be able to pray Tarawih in the Masjid uh, and connect with our brothers and sisters whom we haven't seen for a very long time. Um, SubhanAllah, trying to spend our time wisely in this month um, to do more productive things. And Alhamdulillah, it is actually in our favor in that sense because um, us not being able to pray in the Masjid is basically um, one of the downfalls. But the, the positive thing about uh, this quarantine is that we are able to be in the house in our households, spend time with our family, read Quran, um, and spend time with our wives, husbands, sons, daughters, brothers, whatever the case is, and just help educate each other. Um, a lot of people complain about, oh, you know, like I work so hard, I can't fast, and Allah Subhanahu Allah knows best, and Allah make it easy. But this is the actual time where. We don't have to worry about exhausting ourselves in a field, uh, whether that be in sales or construction or anywhere that requires a lot of energy. You're able to relax and you're able to just enjoy uh, the company of your loved ones and uh, be able to focus on the remembrance of Allah. And alhamdulillah, um, you know, I personally work a job where it's extremely uh, physical. so. Um, and when I fast, you know, I lose a lot of energy and you know, that is the struggle So subhanAllah, I'm very lucky and fortunate to be able to fast and read Quran and do more dhikr and do tarawih So for those people that uh, are not able to go to the masjid tarawih There are lives on television that uh, for instance today was my first tarawih and I did it uh, on live and alhamdulillah felt amazing still being able to hear the recitation of the Quran and still being able to connect and feel that amazing feeling uh, and I'm also connecting with a lot of uh, people on social media during this um, month and before this month a lot of brothers and sisters that are uh, curious about uh, how I came to the fold of Islam and if you haven't seen my videos uh, there's also videos there as well I'd suggest you to check it out if you want to know a little bit about that but Alhamdulillah the greatness and uh, uh, the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how he arranges things in, in, in his best manner and alhamdulillah, this uh, Ramadan is going to be a very different one, but it's going to be a very blessed one. Um, and I feel really good about it because there's no uh, barriers as to give charity. You can give charity online, which I plan to do, inshallah, during this month, um, and just help the you know local masjids stay open. Uh, also, you know, um, you're able to like just you know, um, you know, not have that issue like I mentioned with fasting and struggling on that end. And alhamdulillah, are you bad? Uh, can be even better in the sense of connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So there's no real um, difficulty there Everybody that I've spoke to uh, are, are very disappointed in the fact that they can't uh, You know go out into their family's houses and eat and you know do the regular things they do But the positive thing we really have to look at is that alhamdulillah we made it to this Ramadan and without the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the gracious and glory and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we probably, um, you know, wouldn't have made it. And alhamdulillah, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that opportunity. Um, I'm holding, um, trying to hold um, uh, just talks and, and stuff like that uh, regarding, you know, uh, Islam and regarding, uh, you know, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I hope to, inshallah, like see more of my brothers and sisters online and connect with them on a one-to-one -one basis as well. Um, if, um, subhanAllah, uh, there are anybody out there that uh, feels that they're alone or they feel that um, they need, like, you know, to connect with uh, someone during Ramadan, please don't hesitate to reach out because, subhanAllah, I love connecting with uh, my, my community. Uh, I am a community service worker. Um, soon to be registered a social service worker so that's the that's the that's an amazing part um about uh, being in that field is being able to connect with uh, any type of community and uh you know alhamdulillah give back to my brothers and sisters and it's rewarding for me in so many ways so i hope that everybody 
that watches this video has an amazing Ramadan. And I ask that Allah, you know, makes it easy uh, for those that are in, that are sick and not being able to fast. And I pray that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala helps those that are, you know, trying to succeed in certain things. And Allah answer their du'as and Allah make us steadfast and 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 have a lot of sabr, because this time is, uh, you know, it's it's the time where we need to make sure to keep sabr in our hearts. So Alhamdulillah, you know, um, let's just take away the benefits of, um, you know, this quarantine and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept every single one of our fasts, uh, no matter um, where we are on the globe. And uh, inshallah, uh, Allah will answer um, our prayers and this is the best time to ask Allah for tawbah. And I always keep uh, telling my youth and telling people that it's never too late to go ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. And there's a lot of people out there that are telling me you're born, you're, you're a revert, you came to Islam, Allah chose you and made to offer me. But I continuously tell them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer your dua as he will answer mine. For Allah is most gracious, most merciful. And if you keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, and especially in this time and month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will wipe it out clean. And you have to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is so just to his servants. You know, subhanAllah. So inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, continue to bless us in this blessed month and if you guys have any questions at all please leave a leave a comment on the bottom and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this month easy uh not well easy alhamdulillah make it easy so you don't go through extra hardship but also Allah make it blessed and forgive your sins inshallah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give you the ability to keep me in your duas too as well because that would mean a lot jazakallah khair my name is Amin don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this video and share it if you want. Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh.